all. Today's the start of a new month. And as we know, with a new month comes a new topic. And we're in March, so hopefully it'll be spring soon. Alright, the first topic of the first scripture of the month, excuse me, can be found in Exodus chapter 15, verse 26. Dilig diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord. All right, so the Lord wants to talk to us. He wants to speak to us. He wants to communicate with us. He wants to show us what's out there. He wants to teach us how we are very much lovable and capable of giving love to others. He's got so much to teach us. But we do not often hear what he has to teach us simply because we aren't willing to listen. There are so many different noises in the world. And the Lord and his messengers speak in still small voices. And those still small voices are things that we have to listen carefully to. We cannot be afraid to listen. But if we aren't listening closely enough, we'll, mi we'll miss whatever the Lord's trying to teach us. Loyalty to the Spirit means doing things that would invite the Spirit of God to be with us and help keep us on track. Honestly, we can't be afraid to embrace the Spirit of God by being, by doing what we need to to show loyalty to it, to be diligent in our seeking the counsel of God in loving who we are and whose we are by treating ourselves with enough respect that others will look to us as their example of how people can be happy under God's protection being diligent means daily, moment by moment, hearkening to the voice of the Lord whenever it comes, learning and growing and teaching through example. Life is so very short, and Satan will do whatever he can to try and confuse us by making himself sound like the voice of the Lord, but he cannot touch our hearts. He cannot touch our souls. He cannot touch us. But the Lord is able to touch our souls, touch our hearts, and reach out to us in love and compassion. Hence, that's the way we can tell the difference between the two voices. And if we are compelled to do good and to heal our spirits. That is how we can also tell what voice is from the Lord. The voice of the Lord is diligent in sending messages to us. We, as people, have so many voices to listen to, but we need to listen to the Lord's. For we, we can learn invaluable lessons if we take the time and care enough to hear what he has to teach us. But it's our choice. It's our choice what voices we listen to as we progress through life. The Lord will be loyal to us, though. Others won't necessarily be loyal to us. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.